Well, when they said that a car was going to pick me up from the airport, I didn't expect it to be a 1950s fire truck. I'm here in Tampa to see the owners of Alessi, Tony and Fred. Bye, guys! Bye! Thanks for having me. You guys have a huge operation here. We've got about 400,000 square feet under roof. We are in all 52 states and uh, in Central America. Seventy years ago, Fred and Tony's father, Tony Alessi Sr., started this company in a garage of all places. A lot of hard work on my father's part yeah. and, and many, many hours. There were no hour, uh, weeks less than 80 hours for him when he started. Are most of your memories of your father working? Absolutely. Yes, even Sundays. Sunday was just another work day for him. How do you stay on top of growth but yet still maintain the quality and then the feel of family. I mean, it just seems like well, it's impossible. First of all, good people. Okay. We have excellent people working with us, people that have the same interest in the business as we do. <laughs> There's people that we actually create jobs for because they can't do the jobs that they used to do when they were young. Mm -hmm. So, I know we, we try and treat everybody like family. Their work family replicating a Lessie family recipes like their famous pasta sauce, but we'll get to that later. You do a lot more than sauce. We do. Okay, olive oils, vinegar. Balsamic vinegars, pesto. Pes oh, yes. Uh, Risotto. Risotto. That's what we should be tasting now instead of wine. We should be tasting olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> olive oil, yes. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get her to taste the olive oil and see what she thinks. And we'll taste along with her. <laughs> okay, you asked for it. And we'll, oh my gosh. and we'll taste along with her. The first thing we do with this one over here is smell oh, it. I already messed up. It's delicious. I know this is going to sound weird, but it's not even oily. Is that weird to say? Mm -mm. No, because you're right about that. There's some olive oils that are so thick that when you uh, taste them, they stay in they your stay tongue. mouth. Yeah, this one just. Yeah, this is. Uh, you know, it yeah. gives you a nice, pleasant olive yes. taste. Tony, Fred, I've so enjoyed talking with you, but now I really want to go and check out the entire operation. Is it okay if I take a look around? Absolutely. Certainly. Okay. Well, maybe I'll meet up with you a little bit later. My nose led me to the best smelling building on the Vigo Alessi campus. Alessi sells a ton of breadcrumbs, and in order to make a ton, you have to have a ton of bread. Look at all this bread, buns, loaves, sliced loaves, sesame, bagels, bagels, and all of this will turn into this. They say to make good breadcrumbs, you need old bread. So Alessi buys bread from all over the Tampa area. These guys unwrap and inspect the bread until it's ground up and heated with this massive flame, seasoned and packaged. There is so much to see here. They have an entire building dedicated just to making plastic bottles. And another just for salt and pepper grinders. They don't just make Alessi brands here. Some of the biggest restaurant chains in America use their salt and pepper grinders. So the next time you eat out, you may be using Alessi and don't even know it. What I've noticed about Alessi is that family is truly what's most important. And that includes your employees too. Yes, we've had employees here for, you know, some of the people have been here since the first uh, Cuban migration. They've been here for 40 years and they become like family. You know, it's not just about your blood relatives or your children or your grandchildren or just the employees you have, but it's also about the community. You guys always care about giving back to the community. Yeah, we're involved with the community. We do school tours here. We get the kids uh, when they're fifth graders and we try and show them what we do here. For nearly two and a half decades, 24,000 students have toured the Alessi facility. We try and instill in them, you know, the idea of a family company and, uh, you know, the traditions that, that, that it brings. These traditions live on in their family recipes. With so many products, I began to wonder where do all these recipes come from? Tony is the one that develops a lot of the recipes that, uh, that made our products successful. Yeah, we don't use outside sources to develop our products. Yeah. Everything that you see here was made in-house, including the spaghetti sauce. Well, the thing I love about the pasta sauce is that it's just wholesome ingredients. A lot of sauces you buy, a lot of sugar in it, a lot of filler, but yours is just simple. Most Italian sauces, if you go to Italy, that's the way they're made. And the secret is that everything is fresh. The tomatoes are very low acid. You don't have to use anything in there to, you know, make them less acidy like sugar or anything. So, uh, you know, very, very natural products. That sauce is a recipe of Fred and Tony's mother. 
and Tony's daughter, Laura, can attest the recipe is 100% authentic. Is this really the way it tasted when you were growing up? Yes, we use the exact same ingredients that my grandmother used, um, high quality ingredients, extra virgin olive oil, tomatoes, garlic, sea salt. Uh, to add a personal touch to our authentic ingredients, we like to finish it off with adding a couple pieces of fresh basil leaves so inside the jar. So that's not done by a machine, that's, there's someone placing basil. Absolutely. In each of these jars. Every jar of our marinara sauce, yes. All right, well I gotta go check this out. Absolutely, we're gonna make you work for your lunch. <laughs> it doesn't stop. Well, I've worked my butt off and I'm not going to go home empty handed. These babies are coming home with me. To the airport! Andiamo!